Hey, what's going on, Internet? Zyjix here, coming at you with another Mega Man Battle Network 6 video. Last time, Lan met with the uh, Aquarium Director and Prosecutor Ito. And now, apparently, we've got to check out the courtroom here. I don't know why. What? Seriously? They have a computer as a judge? That, that doesn't seem very... Whatever. Um, let's, let's take a look around the courtroom. Okay, we got to talk to people. This is the judge tree. It's actually a giant tree which has been living in this exact spot for hundreds of years. We added some cybernetics to make it capable of hearing a human's voice. That made it perfect, a uh, perfect system for justice. And that is how the judge tree was born. Wait, so are we actually in a giant tree then? Huh. The judge tree is basically a, still a simple plant. You must still give it water and, and fertilize. Oh, wait, so no. The judge tree is right there. They carved it. Wow. So, I'm guessing they carved out portions of it. Interesting. Um, no, I'm not the person now. Okay. Thank you to know. Normal people are prone to mistakes, no matter how experienced the judge. There are times when they may make an unjust decision. Taking that into consideration, with the goal of getting justice every single time, we thought of a way to improve the system. Our answer was very simple. If people are prone to making mistakes, then why not use something other than a human as a judge? The fruit of this was a uh, fruit of this debate was the botanical justice system known as the judge tree. Alright. Yeah, I don't care. On the on the on the field trip to the courthouse, I see. Look look at that tree inside the courtroom. It is called the judge tree. Of course, it isn't just a normal tree. It is automatically a prudent uh, mate, or it, it'll automatically make prudent, just court decisions. It is a milestone of a machine. In summary, here there is no need for a judge. We let the judge tree handle everything. Um. I need to... Wait, did I just need to walk there? All right, that judge tree, huh? I wonder what is what it's like. Well, since it makes all the judgments for the trials, I guess that is that it, it's got its will of its own, like us, like us net navvies. Do you think that the tree can hear my voice too, just like you, Mega Man? I have no idea. Hey, Mr. Judge Tree, if you can hear me, answer, okay? Hey, Mr. Judge Tree. I said, hey. Ah, oh, Lan, what are you do? Don't, don't lean over that far. Answer me. Oh, you, Lan, you, you're gonna get in trouble. Stop it, Lan. Now you're just harassing it. But don't you think it should at least answer me? Maybe it's asleep. I don't believe. I wait, I don't believe you're. Uh, oh well. Wait, what can you expect? Pretty much just a tree. Uh oh. Emergency! Emergency! What? Emergency! We have a level five emergency situation. Looks like something happened inside the building. Maybe we should get outside? Yeah, let's go. No, oh, I... Yeah, can't touch the tree. Suspect surrounded. Begin capture. Suspect? Me again? Greentown Ordinance 3 states, With regard to Judge Tree of Greentown, it is recognized that something vital, uh, something vital and important to the town. Therefore, anyone who causes harm to it will be removed by any way necessary. We, in accordance with the, the above ordinance, have determined that you have harmed the judge tree. By touching it? Holy God, and I, I would not want to live here. Again, you, 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 I mean, even so much as something being like a fart in the wind would get you arrested. What is with these robots going around calling everyone suspicious or suspect anyway? I told you to leave the judge tree alone. Oh, come on. Well, the tree is vital and important, and yeah. Level 5 emergency. Use of stun arms approved. Uh, wait, stun arms? What the? Who's, wait, who jacked it? Oh, hello. Huh? They've stopped. What's going on? You wouldn't have any trouble if you had faster skills. Ah, that's a strange guy from before. Faster skills? You mean the ones that... You're, you're the one that jacked in? And then crash, or crash these robots at the super fast speed? No way. Lan Hikari, you were at the center of all the trouble recently. But by the looks of it, I can tell it's you're still oblivious. Not this nonsense again. You still don't understand. This is what they call a setup. Setup what? By who? 
Your navy is too dangerous. Well, he is pushing himself that, that that thing is obedient, but what you can't see is how it is consuming your navy. Something may occur that will cause all serious trouble. If that were to happen, I will delete your navy. Delete? Delete Mega Man? Don't mess with me. I would never let that happen. Hey, are you alright? Are you alright, Lan? I'm sorry. I went and touched the judge tree. Oh, that wasn't good. I guess I should have warned you beforehand. In any case, I don't think I know who you are. And your name is? I don't have to answer you. The judge tree is the most important thing in all of Greentown. No, all of Cyber City. If I, if I suspect you of doing anything suspicious to the judge tree, I could get a warrant. Do, you, do what you want. Maybe I was the one who was going to harm the judge tree. After all, I do think that this tree is a bit troubled. I seriously want to know who this guy is. What's with that guy? That criminals that target this tree do exist, and that man is probably one of them. If this, were, if this tree were to be hacked, law and order would fall apart. We must be on our guard. More importantly, Lan, the trial is about to start. Good luck. Now then, the trial of Captain Blackbeard will now commence. It spoke. The tree actually spoke. First Prosecutor Ito, your opening statement. Yes, Your Honor. The defendant, Captain Blackbeard, is accused of endangering the lives of many people at Seaside Aquarium by releasing the animals from their tanks and cages for the sake of watching people panic. We, the prosecution, cannot allow this sort of harmful, selfish behavior to go unpunished. It looks so cool. Now, I would like to call Lan Hikari to the witness stand. Yes, sir. Here it goes. I am so nervous. What? All you have to do is state your... Uh, st I mean, state what you saw. Please state your name and occupation. Yes, sir. I'm Lan Hikari, and um, I've never had an octopus. Lan, that's not what he asked you. But he asked for something about an octopus. No, he said occupation. What? An octo... An octo bacon? <laughs> that's not it either. What's with you in you in food? <sighs> now then, the witness will answer a few questions about the incident. Please answer the best of your ability. On the day of the incident, you were you were just visiting and enjoying the aquarium. Is, is this correct? Yeah, I mean, that's right. Can you please tell the court what exactly happened? Um, my friend and I were just about to go home, and suddenly we heard screaming, and before we knew it, there were sharks and piranhas all over the place. I see. Moving to my next question. Now, the, um, now think back. Was this man the, the was the man that you saw and fought in a net battle with the same uh, the same man that's sitting over there and the defendant with Captain Blackbeard? Yes, that's him. But Captain Blackbeard didn't just mess up the aquarium; he also took my friend hostage. I didn't recognize it. I or I'd recognize that evil face anywhere. This is very de de this is a very decisive testimony. I don't see the need to hear any explanation from the defendant. Hey, Mega Man, is this all I need to do to testify? Yeah, I guess so. You do. You did great. I will now pass judgment. The defendant was acting out of malice and selfishness. This sort of evil behavior cannot be forgiven. Therefore, I pronounce the defendant, Captain Blackbeard, guilty. I sentence you to death by AA guns. The punishment room for indefinite. Wow. Holy crap. Life in prison. That's even worse. Not part. This was not part of the deal, you filthy lion! I'll send you to Davy Jones' locker, you scurvy rat! What the? He didn't say the one word during the entire trial. And now he makes a big fuss. Look, this is how criminals always act. When he heard the verdict and realized how serious his crime was, he objected, just as all criminals do. Please remove the guilty party! And just do the moonwalk. Well done! So what did you think of the fir of your first trial? I was so nervous! But the judge tree is really cool! I guess a tree can r uh, can run a trial- <laughs> guess a tree can run a trial after all! <laughs> you see, actually the judge tree was my idea! 
Really? It was a small idea I had in college, but surprisingly, it got bigger and bigger. That's what she said. That's awesome, Prosecutor Ito. I refuse to forgive any evildoers, so my dream is to sometime or someday create a society with no crime. The judge tree is the first step in making my dream come true. Ah, oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Anyway, I must prepare for my next trial, so I have to go. Stop by and visit sometime, okay? Prosecutor Ito sure loves justice. He looks so cool. I want to be like him when I grow up. Well, you're not going to be like him the way you are now. First, you got to study a whole lot more. Come on, let's go home and do some homework. Ah. All right. We got mail. Email. Miss Pat Ferran has opened a net battler school in Greentown. How would you like to learn from a yummy net battler? Heck yeah. All right, we're so and how convenient it is, right where I need to be. Um, there she is. What's up, Teach? Um, Miss Ferran. Wow, I'm surprised to see you here. You have something to do in Greentown? Yeah, something like that. What are you doing in Greentown? Well, I started a cooking class here. Oh, perfect timing. Would you like to take my class? Take Miss Ferran's class? Sure. Once class starts, you're not allowed to quit, and you must stay here until class is over. Is that okay? Yes. Today, this class is about cyber cooking. Yep, for example, when chefs want to make a new dish, they must try it again until they get it right, but all those ingredients are wasted. Cyber cooking lets you, 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 cyber cooking lets you perfect the, the dish in cyber world so that you can be made in the real world. That's cyber cooking. But I can't imagine what it feels like to do it. Well, that's what you're here for, right? I want you to use Slashman and gather some, ing some ingredients for me. Slashman is in the recipes cookbook. I'm leaving you to and uh, leaving you to op leaving the operating to you. All right, so we're gonna get a new uh, new uh. I am Slashman. There is nothing in the world my claws cannot slice. Good to be working with you, Lan. Now let's get slashing. All right, let's go. Like we were talking about before, please operate Slash Man and collect cyber veggies with us, uh, for us to cook with. But it's not like you can just go get the veggies. You gotta have Slash Man cut the veggies right up, right there. I'll teach you how to cut the veggies, so just pay attention and you'll learn, okay? So here's what you need to know for, to get the ingredients. Cyber cabbages are grown in this area. Please cut up 80 grams of cyber cabbages, okay? 80 grams? Okay. Now listen carefully. Once you cut into a cyber veggie, they tend to go bad almost right away. You gotta finish cutting it before it completely goes bad. In this area, you have to get 80 grams before you run out of cabbage heads. Otherwise, you'll have to start all over. Wow, it's like you can't make a mistake. Cyber cooking is really hard. I have faith in you. All right, let's get let's cook. First off, we get the DMD. Got yo yo. All right, um, you gotta cut up the veggie before it goes bad, okay? Ready? And cut. Oh. We still need more sliced veggies. Okay. Okay, all works. Now I just gotta hit the right button. Uh, there we go. There we go, that's a lot better. Oh, much better. All right, and last one. Yo. Whoops, I made a mistake. Oh well, I got enough. Okay, that's 80 grams. Gash, you're actually pretty good at this. Do you seriously? Is, that is, he's just like Guts Man. He just like he voices part of his name. That's just that's so weird. All right, what up? Cyber carrots are grown in this area. Just do as you did before, but this time I need you to get 120 grams of cyber carrots, okay? We can use some carrots right about now. Dang, I got some in my fridge. Alright, can I get through here? Yes, I can. HP 100, sweet. Alright, um. Saw a carrot. Um, none here. 
Well, how does Slashman operate? Oh, that could that could have been really bad. I didn't, did not want to hit the frickin' not want to hit the frickin' um, BMD or there. Got him. Almost said BMD. I keep having a hard time distinguishing between the two. How much? Four thousand. Okay, not bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can get that attack plus one now. Can I put that on Mega Man? Uh, no, I can't. I, I actually got to be operating Mega Man. All right, let's talk carrots. Let me, let me get the freaking carrots. Would you, well, there's one. There's a couple. All right, you got to cut up the veggie before it goes bad. Yep. You said before. Whoops. And a. All right, whatever. Little mistakes. We, we, we don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents. Kind of like these viruses here, they made they made, they made a little happy accident to, to freaking bother me. Ouch. So wait, I wonder if like Mega Man uses uh slash cross. I wonder does that mean he's is he gonna is he actually gonna use like a slash attack or is he gonna like fire off these kunai like Slash Man does? All right, next carrot. All right, here we go. We got four seconds to do this. Here we go. Good. Moving on. Here we go. There's another two of them. Okay, that was close. Alright, just need another 15. Should be able to get enough here. Yeah, I only need to get like four of them. Nailed it! Alright. Okay, I got 120 grams of cyber carrots. Okay. Alright, so to get to area two, I think was it going the right way? Yes, it was indeed going the right way. Get the frick away, dang it. Alright. Just down this way here. You're kidding me, right? What? <sighs> wow. Well. <sighs> Fire. That was actually, that was not half bad. Slashman is getting his butt kicked here. Well, whatever, double believe. There we go. Not bad. Wait, how much health does he have? 300? Okay, so he's, he's full. Okay, again, you know, 160 grams of cyber radishes. And we are there. There's one. There's two. Now I got three seconds. Man, these go back really quickly. <clears throat> and I, I don't know how I translate down is left. Five. We can get we can do it perfectly here. And cut. L B A. Ah, dang it! I shoot. I, I was too busy. I I was too busy thinking. Okay, do I got to use left trigger or the left bumper? And I had because I couldn't remember what I set L to. A dork. So, you know what? I can just hold on. I don't know why I'm. <clears throat> All right, another one here. I mean, honestly, that was that was a really good one. All I had to do was hit L, B, and then mash A. That last one. There we go. All 
Alright, and with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I will see you all in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, and God bless you all. See you in the next one.